day one of the Canadian Prairies Road Trip Challenge. Hi, I'm Tracy. And I'm Christian. And we are Tumbleweed RV Life. We decide to live our dreams today and now and not wait till tomorrow or someday. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and while you're at it, hit the bell for future notifications on all of our next videos. So we are barking on a Canadian Prairies road trip. The challenge has to do with finding exciting things to see and do. The common perception, especially among Canadians, when you hit the Canadian Prairies, the drive can be very boring. It's flat. It's flat straight. We've decided to accept the challenge to prove that there are things to do, places to go, and things to see. We're going to be hitting five, up to five spots today. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take as much video as possible. Follow us along. In the meantime, come and have some fun. <laughs> That's what Mexico is going to be like. Well, we had to do our first stop. We always stop here for cheese curds. Locally made cheese curds, they are delicious. These are the peppercorn ones. Only one bag left. We have to share, Papa. Oh, this is cute. Oh my goodness. It's an old railway station. Let's go check it out. What they, you know. Oh, back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all the doll clothes. All the old doll furniture. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. This is the CP Girl stuff from Dad. My dad has one of these. And I've got all the, uh, the colored shades for it too. I have one of those. Day. What does it say? 1910? Conductors jacket. <laughs> That's an old coaster. Wow. They ended up splitting it between Alberta and Saskatchewan, but initially they were talking about one province called Buffalo. You know what? I never knew that. I never knew that either. Former Buffalo National Park is now Canadian Forces Base Wainwright one of the country's largest military complexes. On September 1st, 1939, the Second World War began when Germany invaded Poland. In 1940, Canada's Department of National Defense, in need of a military training area, acquired the former Buffalo National Park near Wainwright, Alberta. By 1944, part of this former wildlife reserve was fenced for another purpose, an internment camp for German prisoners of war. Wow. I did not know that. Did not know that either. 
wooden bowl and checkerboard made by one of the prisoners, and a cribbage board made out of a horn. Escape attempts and mischief at the internment camp. End of the war, Nazi surrender, May 8th, 1945. Wow, there's a prison gate. Wow. Oh my goodness. German helmet, World War One. And this is the kitchen blacksmith shop and farming room. steer it it would not yeah it yeah would, yeah it would not much but <laughs> Go in the general store. It's an old uh, Simpsons catalog. I remember going through them and circling everything that I wanted. Somebody's got a large spoon collection. Oh my goodness. is the parlor. salt and pepper shaker collection you need an operator to connect you <laughs> yeah there's there was all your lines well check this out and then it then it went through automated switches that was manual mm -hmm. and then you had that was automatic switches that is the coolest So we're going to set our next waypoint through Road Tripper and we're going to go down here to Profile, this is the trips, we'll go on this trip and we're now at the Wainwright District Museum. Our next stop is Ribstone Creek Heritage Rangeland Natural Area. 
So we'll click on that and click on navigate. Now we can pick any of the apps, navigation apps that are installed. And so I'm going to go with the Garmin and I'm going to send it. And there you go. And it sends it to the Garmin and we'll hit go. And there we go. That's our next waypoint. Hey, Tony. You got a pizza and grill in, in town. So this is the Tomahawk Park Campground. It's got a little, almost like an old western town kind of feel. So are we going to stay here, Papa? We're going to pay for our first campground, but I don't know. $15 is about $10 in the US. So. Okay, but it's it's very quaint. It's yeah. very cute. It's like a little it's like a little small town. It has a little railway station and Oh the museum, yeah. And the museum. And the biggest tomahawk in the world. And this we might we might be doing calling this the museum tour. Uh, well it is actually. I've got lots of museums. Yeah? Yeah. Lots and tomorrow too there's museums. This is probably the biggest tomahawk I've ever seen. That's quite the perspective. It's going to hit you in the head. 